So Angus, my final question for you is, in terms of interview preparation, I always tell my clients, you know, research the company, research the person, check on LinkedIn, check on social platforms so that you are prepared and also have prepared questions to ask them. So in that sense, do you have any other tips that job seekers need to do before attending an interview? I think it's crucial that you've sent something ahead, like a handwritten note or a postcard that just says, thank you very much for seeing me. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Yes. That way round, it's attention. You've got their attention. Yes. When you arrive, they'll know who you are and they'll never forget the fact that you sent them a postcard or a handwritten letter yes and nobody else did yes and that will pay dividends later on also i think that it's about research so i would go to somebody's linkedin profile i would do i would look at the hiring manager or the person you're having an interview with and do control f control f and in that box put a keyword in there and see how many times that keyword is is in their profile and it's juxtaposition with other words yes i'd also go and look at the i would look at the recommendations that mm -hmm. person has given not yes. received given and do a word cloud of each of those recommendations to see what keywords come up. And if there's any consistency in keywords over, say, three or four recommendations, yeah. use that keyword back to them. Mm -hmm. So if they say fantabuloso, a silly example, but if yeah. that's a word they've used, yeah. keep using that in the conversation because at the back of their head, they'll go, this person is part of my tribe. Yeah. And also my other tip would be, I'd I'd use something called Crystal Nose. Crystal mm. Nose, K N O W S, is is a disc profiling app that um, is a Chrome is a Chrome extension. Okay. And when you look at somebody's profile, it will tell you it it will give you a mini disc overview of what that person is. It might they might be um, one of like the categories where they like to be spoken to directly mm -hmm. they might be somebody who and it will come back and say don't be direct with this person be you know be circumspect and so that's the approach you take mm -hmm. i would also use twitter go on to twitter find out their twitter handle and and do a search of from colon their twitter address and a keyword and it will tell you everything that they've ever tweeted about that keyword mm -hmm. gold dust when you're talking to them in an interview and also go back and see which university which school they went to because yeah. you're bound to know somebody that was going to you know just and, and as much information as you can i'm not suggesting you get you know reams of paper and have to revise yeah and learn all about them but yes. a couple of key things that are current is uh, all always always goes down a treat yeah and it, and that that i think more than anything else is that look at their recommendations look mm -hmm. at their profile keyword search keywords word cloud the recommendations and see if you can build a rapport ahead of being with them would be well, my suggestion. Yeah, those are great tips, uh, Angus. I really appreciate that. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips that I hope my audience will implement that. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Angus, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. A pleasure, an absolute pleasure. And please, or anyone who's listening, please, connect follow yes. and let's start having a conversation yeah that's great thank you bye everyone